guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing something a little bit different. As you can see, we are here in the kitchen and today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my stuffed chicken. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already slid my DMs asking me about this before. So I'm finally gonna give y'all what y'all want. So if you wanna figure out how I make this, then just keep watching. Okay y'all, so first we are going to preheat the oven to 350. So now I'm going to start cutting my onions up. Okay guys, so if you prefer, you can obviously just buy some store-bought onions that are already chopped up, keep it real simple. But if you don't mind, go ahead and just cut these up really quick. You can do as many or as few as you like. I like to do peppers because for one, look at the colors, they're so beautiful. And I love the flavor and the crunch that it's gonna give it. So I just go ahead and add those in. Again, you can put whatever you want inside of this. So. If you don't want any peppers or any onions, you could put broccoli and whatever you want. You can stuff it with literally anything. So you have a lot of options there. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything into individual ramekins so that when it's time to start stuffing it, it's a lot easier to reach for. Um, but if you want, you can combine everything in one bowl. I just didn't have a bowl big enough for everything. So next I'm gonna add some cheese. Usually my preference would be to shred some cheese, but this is what I had on hand and it was still bomb. Like if y'all try this recipe, I promise y'all are gonna love it. And the Gouda, the Gouda and the cheddar, it just does something. So I'm gonna add some green things. I have some spinach here and then I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh basil. The basil with the mozzarella, with the peppers, like y'all, this is just a treat, honestly. So I'm doing some chicken breasts. I, um, I'm sorry, yeah, chicken breasts, and I split it down the middle, but you wanna make sure to not cut all the way through. Then you open it like a book and you just add whatever seasonings you want. I kinda go crazy. I like a lot of flavor. I'm gonna season the inside and the front and the back of it once I close it. So I do onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I have a chicken rub, some Tony's, mm -hmm. some black pepper, some um, like a spicy chipotle seasoning, cayenne pepper, parsley, like whatever you want. And um, with it being seasoned so thoroughly, like you're just gonna have so much flavor in every bite, especially with the peppers and the onions. Like I promise y'all this meal is gonna go crazy. So I'm seasoning the front side and you'll see a little bit later in the video that I wish I would have probably waited to do that because I use my hands also to stuff the chicken and that took a lot of the seasonings off of the top layer which caused me to then have to re-season it because you want that on there for flavor and then also it helps it to get that pretty brown color. So you'll see in a little bit that I have to backtrack with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start the stuffing with some of my leaves and some butter because I want it to stay juicy on the inside. Chicken breasts can tend to be a little bit dry in my opinion, so I'm doing everything I can to keep it juicy because I want the outside to be crisp, but I don't want it to dry out. So I'm just stuffing it with my cheeses, my peppers, my onions, my leaves and going back and forth. And you really wanna press it in and make sure that it's getting all the way in there. If you ever, under stuff it, it's just a little lackluster. And in a perfect world, you would probably have some toothpicks and you would be able to seal this up a little bit. Um, and I do not, and that's okay. It might get a little bit messy, but it's still delicious. So just go ahead and try it this way if you don't have all of the supplies. So I'm just gonna make sure it's really stuffed. If you can see, the seasonings are coming off of it. So I got my brown butter over here and it doesn't have to be brown, but that gives it a little bit more flavor and a little bit more color, which is honestly what we're going after anyway. So I'm just gonna put that in there and let that start cooking. I'm gonna repeat the same steps for the next one, but as you can see, I realized I needed to put a little bit more seasoning on there, so I did. Okay guys, so that's still going. I'm gonna use something about this size and I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken stock and some butter at the bottom and then when the chicken gets done, I'm gonna transfer it straight into here and pop it in the oven. Okay guys, I'm sorry I got a phone call and that distracted me a little bit, but you see we have this super pretty brown color and now I'm just about ready to transfer this into the pan and it's gonna be delicious. I'm also going to um, baste it a little bit, so I might need to get some more 
butter out here, but And as you can see, it's still raw on the inside. So this is just browning the outside, you guys. So you want the fire to be up kind of high for the amount of time that you're doing this so that it gets the color that you want, okay? Okay, now this is what it's gonna be transferred into. So I'm going to put a little bit of chicken broth at the bottom of this. And what this is gonna do, you guys, is just keep it juicy while it's cooking. It's the last thing you want is for your chicken to dry out, which is why there's butter on the inside, butter in here. So do that. Already, you just look how delicious. So, so, so pretty. This one is probably just about ready to be placed over there. So, stay tuned. Okay, now I'm about to do some red mashed potatoes. I'm putting a little bit of chicken broth in the water because it'll just give it some flavor as it is boiling. If y'all never tried that, bang me later. Um, a lot of people like to peel their skin off. I am not one of those people. I think it actually adds a nice flavor to it. I do cut off the parts where I feel like it's like a little bit crusty and just toss that to the side. But other than that, I keep the skin on. And I really love these potatoes too because they cook really fast. So this is like easy for a quick meal. So I'm just gonna pop it in the water and let it do its thing. It's pretty soft at this point, so for me. So now I can turn this off. What we're working with so far. Ch -ch 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 you say yes, yes. Okay, so now I just drained everything out of there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get out my little potato masher. That's all we're gonna need for these. You won't have to whip it or anything like that. So first things first, the burner is still off, you guys. And I'm gonna go in with some butter, some more butter, and some more butter. And then I'm gonna just start mashing. Okay, so you just wanna do this until you get the desired texture that you want. I personally don't have any exact measurements of what I add. I just start with a little and add more as I see fit. I'm doing half and half because that's what I had on hand, but you can put whatever you want, milk, almond milk, oat milk, whatever. Um, I'm adding some more butter because I needed some more. I want it to have like a thick but creamy texture. Um, and I love onion and garlic powder and black pepper in my potatoes. It's giving me the flavor that I want. So I'm just gonna keep doing that, add a little Tony's. I decided to add a little cheese. I'm obviously cheating. This is not one of my healthier meals, but you're gonna see that the texture is gonna be so good. And honestly, you're gonna want some of these, but you have to make it on your own. We are going to plate our meal. These potatoes are going to be so bomb. Like seriously. Now for part two of our meal. Perfect. Okay guys, so we are finished with our meal. Let me know if you guys tried this and how much you love it. I'm actually over here hoping that my makeup looks okay because I took a couple of bites. We're not gonna eat it right now. I'm taking it over to my boyfriend's and we're gonna eat together. But I already know how good this is gonna be because he requests it all the time, so I make it all of the time. So anyway, if you guys tried this and you love it, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.